Welcome to another episode of Project Faith. My name is Angie and I am so delighted that you have decided to tune in to today's episode because it's a good one. (laughs) It's a good one because it's a timely one and I just thank God for just his amazing love because he is he is so beyond words like he just leaves me speechless but I was supposed to record a video and release it on yesterday but my schedule was completely thrown off Thursday and Friday and I can only tell you that spiritual warfare is real Um, after you know releasing the premiere on Monday and then releasing heart check on Wednesday I came under attack and the enemy was trying to attack me emotionally and really bringing up an old familiar spirit that I conquered and defeated but let me tell you this (laughs) the enemy is never satisfied he is not going to just allow us to walk into the promised land because that is exactly where I'm headed in the next season is my promised land. I've been in a wilderness season for the past couple of years and now God is walking me into my promised land. And so I'm in that transition period and the enemy is doing everything that he possibly can to get me to turn back. He's trying to use every little trick in his book that has worked in the past to get me to get unfocused, to get me unmotivated, to get me to stop and to get me to, like I said, cower back. And I just refuse to do it. So yesterday I was really struggling, like really struggling yesterday. However, I got a call. Well, I called a friend and let me tell you how important it is to have spirit filled people in your life. And so I called a friend and she immediately heard in my voice something wasn't right. And so what did she do? She immediately started pouring into me. She started pouring good things into me. And even though on the phone it may have sounded like I was just like, yeah, okay. I was receiving it. I was soaking it in. But that emotional weight that was trying to take me over... And to get me to start questioning, doubting things, you know, doubting, am I doing the right thing? Doubt, doubting everything, which is crazy, but there it was. And again, I just talked about doubt on Wednesday. So I guess the enemy is like, oh, well, we're going to see if she really, um, <laughs> we're going to see if she really truly believe and trust God in this season for something that she doesn't even know what the outcome is. Because again, like I said in the video, um, in the intro video, as well as in um, episode one, I don't know where I'm moving. I don't know where my final destination is gonna be, where my base camp home is gonna be, um, because the Lord has not given me that um, place yet, but he has given me direction to move, to start moving um, just as he told Abraham, get ye out of your father's country, you know, from amongst your kin's people to a land that I'm going to show you. He hadn't showed Abraham the land yet. Abraham just had to go. So that's the season I'm walking out right now is just going. Don't know where I'm going to eventually end up, but again, just going. So anyway, um, talking to my friend, she's pouring into me. And by the end of the conversation, I could feel that that heaviness starting to lift. So I get off the phone with her and then I just started having this well up of emotion. So I went and I just uh, because I was working on something as well. And I'm going to share more in detail about this on Monday, episode number two of Project Faith. So make sure you tune in. I'm going to get more into depth about um, what was actually going on because again, it's, it's all a part of the process. And like I said, God is so amazingly good. But anyway, so I get on the sofa and I'm just there and I'm just wanting to, I feel myself like wanting to cry, but then something said, what, what are we crying for? Because like I told my friend, I told her, I was like, 
I'm good. Like everything is going well. Everything I could possibly think of is going well. So I don't know what this is. But again, it was something, it was a spirit trying to attach itself to me from Thursday. And it is something that we have to, like I said, spiritual warfare is real. Spirits are real. They can come and try to attach themselves to you. They can be transferred from other people. Um, so that's why we have to be, they can be transferred from the things that we listen to, the things that we intake into our eye gate and our ear gate. That's why we have to watch over them. But yeah, that thing was trying to attach itself to me. So I was, I, I laid on the sofa literally for like less than 60 seconds before I hopped up and was like, the devil is a liar. There ain't nothing wrong with me. So I grabbed my remote, turned on YouTube, and went to my playlist and found, um, what was I listening to yesterday? Uh, Byron Cage, um, the presence of the Lord is here. I turned it on, I turned it all the way up, and I just danced and danced and praised God until whatever that was that was trying to attach itself to me, it got on up out of here get on up off of me and get on up out of my apartment. And so after that, everything was good. I was able to come back to my desk and finish working on what God was calling me to work on, which is part of the preparation, which again is the topic of Tuesday's um, episode, not Tuesday, Monday's episode Um what do you do after you know it's time to move? You start to prepare. What does that look like? Preparing and planning. And so that is um, the episode for Monday. But I just had to pop on and put this video out there. Again, it's late, but, um, but it's not late because I believe I had to have that experience on yesterday. And again, I'll get more into that on Monday because it actually was a breakthrough for me because it, it, showed me something that I'll chat about on Monday but yeah so that is so that's how I get out of these funky places is I get in the presence of God I pray I praise I worship I do whatever I need to do I confess the word whatever I need to do to lift myself again out of that place of despair or, or to attack whatever is trying to come up against me. And like I said yesterday, that was a spiritual attack because there wasn't nothing wrong with me. I had nothing, there was nothing going on in my life. <laughs> there was nothing going on, but um, it was just an old familiar spirit trying to attach itself to me to get me to slow down, to get me to, again, lose that momentum. But praise God, for discernment, praise God for the Holy Spirit, and praise God for spirit-led friends who pray for you as well as pour into your lives. And so, um, again, that's all I have for you guys today. I just want to share that because, again, I feel it's timely. You know, you guys are walking through this journey with me, so I want to be transparent and just share with you guys where I am because every day is not a good day, you know? That's just life. But how do I get through it? The word of God. <laughs> Getting in his presence. Praising him. Worshipping him. That's how I get through it each and every time. And each and every time without fail. He's right there to deliver me. So that's all I have for you today. The song I have for you guys today. Because Fridays are going to be days where I, again, just kind of wrap up my week. What has transpired during the week. As well as give you guys a song because if you've been following me for any time, if you were with me on the 30 day challenge, you know that God uses songs to speak to me um, in my life. And so the song that I have for today is an oldie but goodie, which is um, by Milton Brunson and the Thompson Community Singers. I hope I'm getting that right. And it is Lord, I believe. OMG, all things are possible. I'm standing on the promises of Jesus and I believe that he will do just what he said. No more doubt 
or disbelief that keep causing my faith to decrease. Ooh, love that song. I'll take him at his word. Will you take him at his word? Will you trust and never doubt? Mm, will you stand on his promises? Ooh, yes. So that's the song for today. Go listen to it. And um, I'll see you guys on Monday for episode two of Project Faith. But just know that God is with us. He hears us. He sees us. All we have to do in those times of trouble is to call out to him and he will come. He will come to the rescue. And so that's all I have for you guys today. I pray that it was a blessing, a seed of hope and encouragement to someone else. And um, until next time, switches. So